Whatever you do, don't believe Jeffrey. Jeffrey waits outside of the gym, looking around the corner. He sees you about to go in for your workout, and that's when he hits you with a barrage of insults. Being healthy is fat phobic. I don't have enough time to work out. All bodies are beautiful. <laughs> Now it's time to choose who are you going to follow, Jeffrey or Adonis? Adonis greets you inside of the House of Iron. Straight away, you can smell the musk. Normal people will think you're weird for liking that sweaty smell inside of an old school bodybuilding gym, but you are a man of culture. F Gamer Girl Bathwater, we need bodybuilder musk. <laughs> I'm gonna butcher that quote. It is a shame for a man to grow old without seeing the strength and beauty that his body is capable of. Socrates. Socrates. Soul crates. How the f do you pronounce this guy's name? Do you want to know the number one thing I was most insecure about when I was a teenager? My PB size. But do you want to know the second thing that I was most insecure about? The rest of my body. When you're a young guy, you can't help but compare yourself. You're not supposed to, but you can't help but compare yourself and your physique to your peers amongst you. You've always been a little bit jealous of that jock, athletic looking guy. It's no doubt that the girls like him instead of you. And it is a shame to take your shirt off, to lock yourself in the mirror and feel kind of disgusted by yourself. Now you shouldn't feel bad about your physique, but it's not your body that you feel bad about. It's the lack of respect that you've had for yourself. Your body is just an indicator to how much dedication and discipline that you have put into your physical training. When a skinny fat little chubby young man looks into the mirror, he feels bad because he's seeing the consequences of the weak decisions that he's made. Saying yes to the sweeties, yes to the pizza. Oh, but it, it doesn't have bad macronutrients. Shut up, bro. I was a normal kid. I literally used to run or like fast walk home so that I could have more time to to play video games. I had a couple of friends and I had crushes on girls, but I always felt like I was above average, but I think I objectively knew I was below average and you might be able to relate to that. It was only when I started weightlifting and I saw the trajectory ahead and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna have one of those like muscular bodies. Like I'm gonna have a six pack. That's gonna be something special about me. I just need to put in the work. Seven years later, this is my physique. I can't even express to you how proud I am for the work that I've put into this. And you know, some friends at the time when I first started weightlifting, they said that they wanted to get into the gym too. And guess what the excuse was that they give? It's a stupid, silly mistake, but you might've made it too. It's gonna take too long to see a difference. When someone said that to me, something clicked in my mind. The time is gonna go by anyway. Whether you spend a few hours a week training and improving your physique or you don't, the months and the years will pass by anyway. If I held that same excuse like, oh, but it's gonna take so long to change my body. I would still have an average or maybe even below average physique at this age. And you cannot get complacent. Maybe you're watching this and you've been in weightlifting for a while, but recently you've slowed down. You've been saying, oh, you know what? I don't need to track my macros anymore. You know, it's okay if I skip a day from the gym because I've already made so much progress. As you progress and you build a better and better body, your ego will start to blind you and you'll lose humility. You'll start to realize that you can get a little bit lazy and still have a good physique. That will not last for that long. Do not make the same mistake that I made when I was 21 years old. I had achieved that lean fuckboy physique and for the last few years, I was literally a fuckboy. I was sleeping with girls and like girls were messaging me first on Instagram. I was getting 10, 20 matches a day on Tinder. Life was good and then I got comfortable. I started spending time with some of those girls that I was sleeping with and would eat junk food and I would miss some workouts. And you know, you don't really see a difference in your physique for a little while. She still thinks that I'm hot and I'm sexy, I feel good. Before I know it, it's a year later, I've gained 20 pounds. The majority of people will still say that my physique looks pretty good, but it was all relative. I used to look in the mirror and not be proud of myself anymore. I used to feel bad when I saw myself. That's one of the worst feelings you can get. I lived in that negative mood for about a year up until I fucking snapped. I started waking up at 5 a.m. in pitch black, running to the gym when there's literally no fucking light. I had to use the torch on my phone to run to the gym. I would beast out a workout, run back, fasted, and then go to my full-time job. And in my one hour lunch break, I would go back to the gym. Soon enough, the extra fat that I'd gained over the last year started coming off and I became proud of myself again. I had such a big level of pride and respect for myself. I signed up for the Royal Air Force and I was breezing through the application. Train hard and consistently and eat clean to the point that you can look in the mirror and feel nothing but pride and love for yourself. That you feel grateful for the hard decisions that you've made recently, that you've been delaying gratification for your future self's benefit. And if you're wondering, I dropped out of the application of the Royal Air Force to become a YouTuber instead. Share this video with a Jeffrey friend. Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Mwah.